So on the left hand side, you have the Fs, 1F1, 1F2, 2F1. Those are breakers. So those are like your normal house breaker. If this goes down, it will kill one of the circuits, the machine, whatever. And you can, you can see that by it being down. To reset it, you basically just bring it back up and that killed this one. So that's on the intake side. This is the AC-DC converter. What this does, it gives us 24 volts DC from our AC power. So we can run all the relays, uh, all the controls, so all the temperature sensors, all the safety switches, all of that runs on 24 volt. And that basically goes in at 220, comes out 24 volt DC. It indicates okay with the green light. If that light is not green, not, not on, something is wrong with this. And then as we have a breaker on the intake side, we have a breaker on the 24 volt DC side. So if any of these lights, if these two lights are red, like so, you can reset it by pushing the button and it turns green again. Sometimes it turns green blinking on the first push. You gotta push again and it turns green and that means that's back on. Other thing that can happen is you get an error on the PLC. So those are, that's our PLC that runs the pasteurizer. It's the, the computer basically. And there is the third light down, there's an error light. You can see that there, it says error. Um, if that is blinking, we have an error on, yeah. So if that is blinking, the only thing you can do pretty much um, is turn the machine off, turn the machine on. Basically like resetting your computer. This part is uh, the remote uh, access for the technicians uh, overseas. So they can access your machine from Austria direct if need be. All you, all you have to do is keep that machine on and they can log themselves in and up, update programs, change anything really. That's, that's this part. These two things are your VFDs, uh, variable frequency drives. So these control the speeds of the pumps, whether it's the product pump or it is the uh, hot water pump or any other pump. And if there is an error on these, uh, you will see it says ER and then a code. And all, all you can do, I mean, the easiest thing to do again is power the machine off, power it back on, and that will should resolve the problem should uh, the error be gone.